by 100,000 years ago. The rate of many modern diseases like asthma, heart disease, diabetes, cancer, gastrointestinal problems, musculoskeletal problems was much much less than we have now. 10, 15, 20, sometimes 50 times less. Certain health conditions were virtually unknown, cystic fibrosis, fibromyalgia, many others, and now we got their appearance. Doctors say that they are in genes, but we had the same genes 100 years ago, 1000 years ago. So there were probably certain parameters which made the appearance of these abnormal genes possible, so that people can experience the symptoms of disease. In order to investigate this question in more details, consider heart disease. What would happen if we take 100 heart disease patients? and we asked them to breathe heavy. Exactly this experiment was done by Japanese researchers. Title: Hyperventilation as a specific test for diagnosis of coronary artery spasm. Published in American Journal of Cardiology, 1997. What we found that 206 patients develop heart attacks if they ask to deliberately hyperventilate. The breathing would get even heavier and they would experience coronary artery spasms. 100% of patients, we can imagine that this is very specific test, very accurate. That means that heavy breathing not just affects the whole organism. In addition, it affects to highest degree the most vulnerable system for these particular patients, the heart. Now let us look at asthma. Other doctors took about 100 asthma patients and asked them to do exactly the same thing, just to breathe heavy. And what happened with them? 100% of patients developed symptoms of asthma attack, wheezing, chest tightness, other symptoms. Let us look at the title of this study. Study of bronchial reactivity using dry, cold air and eocapnic hyperventilation, published in 1990. There were also similar studies for patients with panic attacks. So we took panic attack patients and asked them to hyperventilate. And what happened? They developed panic attacks, not heart disease problems, not asthma attacks. The study was titled Hyperventilation in Panic Disorder Patients and Healthy First Degree Relatives, published in the Brazilian Journal of Medical Biology Research, 2000. We can see from this study that when people start to hyperventilate, they develop different symptoms. All these abnormal effects take place in all of us. But there are certain systems, sometimes several systems in the human body, which would be particularly affected by hyperventilation. And before, heart patients, the most vulnerable system for them is cardiovascular, the heart. Asthmatic people, they would develop spasm or bronchi. People with panic attacks, panic attacks. People with epilepsy would develop epilepsy attacks. And there are other abnormalities which are not revealed right away, immediately. But we can see from here that in order for our genes to be revealed, there is one factor which is absolutely important and necessary. Heavy breathing, hyperventilation. Why? Because if people have light, easy breathing pattern with a lot of oxygen in the body, they never develop this health problem. That was the case about 100 years ago, because these physiological norms were established about a century ago. People had light, easy breathing pattern, breath holding time was high. The rate of asthma was about 1% only. Heart disease just a few percent, much, much less than we have now. So normally, these people never had the symptoms of these diseases. Only some part of population who had probably some other parameters of lifestyle or environmental parameters who would have heavy breathing, they may get the disease. In order to prevent diseases, to treat them, we have to somehow change the breathing pattern. So that 24 hours per day, sick people, instead of having heavy, laborious breathing, we learn how to breathe easy. At the same time, we have to think that there are probably some environmental factors and lifestyle parameters which change during the last 100 years. And probably these lifestyle factors could affect our breathing. And in order to investigate this question in more details, let us go to the next section, causes of hyperventilation.